Hi, in this video I want to show you how to do a quick plot of some data that you might have on screen, maybe to a PDF document. So, very straightforward plot without creating uh, plan sheets or paper sheets or title blocks. A process to use when you just want a print of some data that, that you happen to have displayed. So the first thing to do is to create a plot box so you can see the area of the print relative to the paper size uh, that you're going to use. So I've just opened the command window there and I can type in create plot. Uh, it brings up create plot box on the search. I'll just tap on that. You can go onto any layer you like. It won't be printed, uh, but of course it will be saved with the project if you save it. So decide what layer it's going to go on. Your plot scale, uh, your paper size here. There's a, a number of options that you can uh, you can pick from here, and then decide whether you want it portrait or landscape in terms of the orientation. So uh, here, I'd actually want to go um, landscape. So I'm just going to transpose those figures. You can change these afterwards and the scale, uh, everything that I'm putting in here. Pick a lower left corner for the position and I'm not going to specify a rotation. Press add, uh, close this dialog and there is the plot box outline at A0 size in this case. If I click on it to select it, you can see the properties open here. Everything you can change including such things as the orientation, uh, the position if you left click on the grab handle bottom left corner and move your mouse you can move that plot box around on screen and if you wish to apply some rotation you can click and drag on the triangle and apply the rotation as shown. Uh, and then you can reset that or put in a specific value I'm going to reset it to zero there we are and I'm going to move my plot box back over here. So it is a simple straightforward out method of, of creating output so you just want to determine whether you want your, your grid lines toggled on or off and there we are it's ready to plot. There is a print preview which will pick up the um, printer options that were last used for plotting. So if I hit print preview, okay there's my preview there because last option I used was uh, was, an, was an A0 so that's fine but of course you can change that when you come to actually print the document if you need to. So I'm going to leave everything as it is the size, the scale, the orientation. Um, of course, if you were to change the, the scale, everything's going to dynamically update. So the, the plot area is now much larger than the uh, the data. So I'll increase the scale again, go up a larger scale, fill up the box more. OK. So I'm ready to print. There's a shortcut to the print button here got print preview there but they're both available from this command list as well if you want to prefer to go to there. I'm going to use Qt PDF Writer as a PDF output tool that gives quite a large range of paper size options but again choose any that give you the options that you need installed on your PC. I'm just going to properties, landscape, just check the paper size. Yeah I've got that on A0. Tap OK and tap OK to commence printing. So the save dialogs appeared. Put in a file name for the PDF. And there is the output. So if you have any questions about that screen print procedure, uh, please get in touch on the contact details shown and thanks for watching.